Alright, welcome back to Shadow Warrior. We are continuing down the docks and search for another Whisper Earth. What's wrong with these guys? There's some human beings here, which is surprising. Haven't seen a lot of human beings lately. Given the whole apocalypse. You guys are quite talkative. you along and see what's going on. Alright, so I spent the better half of the video last time talking about Shadow Warrior, so I might as well talk about the second game, Shadow Warrior 2. Um, if I had to guess, I don't know if... I imagine the public is kind of mixed, because not... Because people always hate change, and so Shadow Warrior 2 changed up the formula quite a lot, which I liked, but obviously people hate change, so I don't know if many people liked it. I mean, it has very positive reviews on Steam, but like, I don't know. It's just people are quite unwilling when things change. I'm trying to think of a specific example. Um, can't remember. I think maybe when like Breath of the Wild came out, it changed the formula, and like so many people didn't like that because they were so used to the old formula that when any change happened, it was just consider negative and you know I think I think people should give games like a chance even if they're different than others in the series and I don't know anyway back to Shadow Warrior 2 uh, I actually like that one it kind of reminded me of Borderlands with the whole loot system um, so that was pretty cool um, I can't remember, like... I think the story was a lot more expansive. Because of the notes you can collect. I'm not doing good work here. But, um... I overall liked it. I don't know which game I prefer. Because uh, I do like this one, but I also... Like... Shadow Warrior 2 because I think it's more diverse than this one, I think. Because you could argue that this one gets a little bit repetitive at times. I mean, sure they introduce a few demons here and there, but you could argue it gets a bit repetitive. Um, I'm not doing a good job killing these guys. 
doing a good job of killing me though. We're gonna continue along, and um, I think I don't know. I felt like I used the sword a lot less in Shadow Warrior Two, just because of the amount of weapons that there were. Which I guess, depending on who you ask, is a positive or a negative thing. Um, Chi also works differently in that game in the sense that like. It's how do I put it? It's like a bar. Think of it like mana. If you ever played an RPG game, it's kind of like that, where you have mana and you can equip gear to upgrade that mana, or you can. I'm about to die. Or you can. Uh, that's why I was saving this med kit over here. Or you can say so you can either equip things to increase your mana, quote unquote, or you can like, get skill points that increase your mana. That's kind of like how Chi works in Shadow Warrior 2. Because in that game, Chi is actually like a limited thing. Like here, I'm just using it without care. But, uh,. And Shadow Warrior 2 is actually a limit, ow. Well. I just got exploded. Alright then. But yeah, in Shadow Warrior 2, um. It's a limited thing that you have to use, and so. Yeah. You can choose to, like, spend skill points on it, or you can, like, um, equip weapons or, like, whatever to help increase it, and I don't have any karma points. But yeah, I'll, I'll play Shadow Warrior 2, though. It's definitely going to be a long series, and I, uh, like, right now I just have too many suits. Not, not only do I have to finish this game, because obviously that'd be weird if I kind of played Shadow Warrior 2 and this at the same time, but, um, I need to finish this, and then I have, like, a lot of other series I need to finish, because I just... I have too many series going on at once, and it's, um, not good. I have, because I just don't have, it's not that I don't have the time, it's just that, you know, I want to play some new things by now. Um, I have this, I have Amnesia Rebirth, I have Octodad, and I'm planning on doing the extra maps on Portal, and then I have, um, what was it? I have, um... Circus Baby's Diner, which I'm... It's kind of like a low-priority series for me, because all I need to do is just the custom nights, and I need to dedicate some time to that. Um... And then I have Arkham Origins Blackgate. Um... Which shouldn't be too long, but just depends on what I do in the series. And then, um, I'm also planning on trying to get Deadpool back up, because the reason it stopped is because, uh, when the video uploaded, it got pulled down. And I think the reason it got pulled down was because I used the word dead in the title. And I guess that just didn't go over well. 
So, because like, you know, you can't put dead or anything in the title, and I guess I forgot about that. So I really want to like make that. I want to try and get that series back up, but um, that's the reason why I stopped, just because I thought it was the video itself and not like the title or anything like that. So. Um, yeah, I, I just need to finish a lot of series um, because those are those are series that like I just haven't played in a while, and um, I mean I'm glad I came back to Octodad at least. That was fun, and uh, Portal I did not expect to beat it in the part that I did. I thought that was going to be like three parts or four parts. Um, it was only two. I mean, it's a pretty short game, so I guess that makes sense. But like, all it took, I think the first video was like an hour, and then the second video was close to an hour. So it really took me about like two hours to beat the game, give or take. I mean, I don't know. Um, well, I mean, like, two hours recording time. Because there's also, like, a bit extra time of me figuring things out and, you know, like, testing recording and stuff, but in video time, it took me, like, two-ish hours, but there are extra maps, so I'm planning to do those. It's because I didn't exactly get my portal fill, I guess, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what the extra maps are about. I think they're just I don't know. I think one is just like extra puzzles and then the other one is like, I don't know. Is there a, why is there a chest inside of that? Is there seriously a chest inside of it? Well, that's interesting. All right then. Didn't know that was a thing. Now we have to sit here and wait for that to move that. Never mind, it took like two seconds. All right. Dog number five. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. Um, I might... I don't know. Before I get to the challenge maps, I'll probably finish up the series first. Just because I don't want to upload, like, too much of it too fast, you know. And, um, so the series have been going on for a while now, and I just need to finish them. didn't do me any favors. You know, I just have a sneaking suspicion that, you know, when I walk over here, there's gonna be a huge wave of demons. I mean, it's not like I played this before. Um, well, you know. Oh snap, a huge wave of demons, who will call it? Yeah, those mother demons are like your first priority. I would say even in the lower difficulty still, because they're just so annoying and damaging. I 
missed. Really missed. Ow. I'm missing everything. Alright, time to melee if I can't aim. Talking about, I was gonna say something about amnesia rebirth. Is that I haven't played in a while, and I don't know why I stopped. Really, I guess I just needed a break. But then again, I didn't play that many episodes, so I have no idea. I wonder why that demon always explodes. Like, every time that demon spawns, it explodes. I don't know. Maybe it's like a failsafe? Maybe the game thinks... Maybe the AI thinks that it's... broken, so it... destroys itself, if that makes sense? I don't know. But, um... Speaking of AI... This is a completely different subject, but I uh, I like finding out unused content and games, and I found out that in Bioshock Infinite, you were actually supposed to fight Slade in a boss battle, which is interesting because you know it's completely different in the actual game. Whether that's good or bad is up to you to decide. Basically, his AI was just like, if you get too close, he throws like a shock jockey trap and then like runs away. But if you're from afar, he just kind of like throws shock jockey at you. And um, I think they might have scrapped it because they found it maybe too simplistic or something. Or maybe it just didn't fit well. I don't know. Because there's a video on YouTube showing the battle, and I'm really curious about how they got it. I mean, I imagine they used a cheat engine to jump out of the bounds, but then why did it activate the boss fight? Is it because it was a trigger? I, I, I'm sure you have a lot of idea of what I'm talking about right now. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked up any unused content for this game, though. I don't know. Now that's what I call bad um. Oh, I didn't break the thing. Because, I don't know. I don't know if there's any unused weapons or anything, but I mean, I guess I can just, you know, look it up and find out. Ow. I forgot how much damage you take when you fall. But yeah, I imagine the unused content for this game would just probably include, like, unused enemies or, like, unused weapons. The Bioshock Infant had a lot of unused stuff. Like, a lot. Some of them were, you know... Some of them didn't even pass, like, the concept phase. And, um, a lot of them didn't, actually. And so it was just interesting. I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, where is it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, you can see this little space here. You can crouch into and then crawl into here. And you can grab yourself a statue. And I guess you can play some arcade games. Well, that's interesting. I just heard the Shadow Warrior theme. I didn't think that was a ambience thing. I don't know, are these all made by... I don't think these are made by the same people, but published by the same publisher. I know hard... I don't know. I don't think so. I thought Hard Reset was flying Wild Hog Studio. I could be wrong. got up way too fast. Actually, you know what? I got a chi crystal. Oh yeah, I was gonna show off protection. It's basically what it does. Is that you're a little slow. Oh lord. I almost died. You're a little slow, but it protects you from damage. Um, obviously, like, I only have one point put into it, so it's not that great. Like I said, I just didn't really find a use for it, especially considering the fact that you have healing. So... It's like, maybe if you're in an emergency and you just didn't have time to heal, like, it might be good to do, but I, d I don't know. I just didn't find use in it, really. Now we got this elevator riding warlord. Careful not to activate those guys. I already have enough going on. Missed. I missed. Oh no. Ow. Give me this. Thank you. And hold on. There we go. I think that's how I originally got, like, the kill a certain amount of enemies with one shot achievement. So, I guess if you need that, you can do that there. Alright, let's continue along. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is probably one of the longer episodes in the game. Here's the flamethrower. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's that good. It just seems to take a lot to kill enemies when you could just, like, stab them or whatever. Also, if you watched last episode, I think it was right there, or somewhere there, that when I said when you dash, there's, like, a spot you can just die in. I think it was this hallway. So, just don't dash in this hallway, I guess. And I immediately dash in the hallway. Yeah. I just don't think it's that good of a weapon. It takes a while, and it's just like... You know, you could... Easily do the same. What is that up there? Anyway, you could easily do... I keep getting off track of my own sentences. It's like... It's just, I don't know. 
I will say it does have a use, and that is its upgrade. You can upgrade it so you can right click and it will shoot out like this firebomb, which is actually pretty useful if you're in like a large crowd and um, spoiler alert, you get a rocket launcher later on in the game and the rocket launcher sure is useful for taking down groups of enemies but also it will blow you up. So that's a negative to it and it's very slow. So I would say a positive for the flamethrower is that it's kind of like an alternative to the rocket launcher because you can buy the uh, flame upgrade, the flame bomb upgrade, and then you can get the fire resistant skill if you have enough karma. And then you're able to just like shoot the firebomb in like groups of enemies, no matter how close to you, and it'll set them all on fire. And there's also, I think, like a upgrade where you can increase the chance of them panicking. And basically, what panic is is that like, you know, they like twirl around and panic while they're on fire, so that means that they're not attacking you. So that's also another use for the flamethrower. I just like got some height there. So um, it's not completely useless, but compared to other weapons, I just don't think it's that good. But it does have its usefulness, especially in survival mode. You have to deal with like lots and lots of enemies. Yaki had his own army. Excuses are unbecoming, love. The bottom line is, you were sent to get the Nobutsurakage, and like us, you failed. <laughs> you ladies have a strange definition of failure. He's got it? Curiouser and curiouser. Whenever you two are finished, we should probably go unfail your mission. Okay. We'll take the high ground and help you navigate to the Manticore. External communications are down, but this should work within the perimeter. Next one, oh look, you got one thing right. Don't be sarcastic, my sweet. I, I liked, liked you better, better when you were done. Gorgeous. I told you he was trouble. You did, my dear. You did. <clears throat> All right. So, let's continue along. I don't know if I have the money to get it. Hold on. Got a karma point. I'll just use it for that, I guess. Uh, let's see. No, they cost 4,000. And for this, I'll just do... I don't know. Uh, just do Shockwave, I guess. Since those are really... That and Restoration is like the only thing I use. Like I said, flamethrower, not completely useless, but not the best weapon in my opinion. But then again, like, each weapon served its own function, so I guess I can't really say it's not the best weapon. Because it does serve its purpose. So, I don't know. So now we gotta deal with this guy, and we gotta deal with two guys. Just trying to see if there's any 
those green guys. There we go. Ow. So, I guess I can use it here, but especially for these larger demons, it doesn't do anything. They don't. The panic function like doesn't work because you know they're large demons. But uh, on lesser demons, the panic thing works. Can't seem to get it to work. Alright, well, it does have a bit of a low chance of happening. That's why there's an upgrade to increase its probability, obviously, but... Just have to deal with these two guys. I mean, I guess you could argue the crossbow is the best weapon, just because of how powerful it is. But... I don't know. Cause like I said, each weapon serves its own function. It's kind of like ranking the plants and plants versus zombies, like... It's hard because, you know, they each have their own specific function. And they serve that function. So, it's kind of hard to say when something is good or bad when it does that. I mean, if I had to, like, rank my usage time with each weapon, Flamethrower would probably be on the lower half of the spectrum. So would the pistol. Like, can't aim with this. Can't aim at all. But uh, with the pistol, I just feel like, you know, it's just not... It's a good starting weapon. Like, obviously the pistol is the starting weapon. But, like... Shooting demons is like shooting people, but without all the pesky moral dilemmas. Even with all the upgrades, I just don't think it's that good. Don't think this. I don't know. Well, if I have to say that, then I probably don't think the pistol is all that, because. You know, I think the flamethrower is better than pistol, but anyway, I don't know. Alright, so. Going to continue on to the next level, which is. Again, one of the longer levels in the game. These past three chapters are probably the longest levels in the game. So I guess there's like a few upcoming chapters that are kind of lengthy as well. Gotta go find the Neurotsai Kage. I still can't pronounce it. Like, I've been playing this game mul multiple times and I still can't pronounce it. Alright. 
So we gotta go into this large ship here called the Manticore. We left your little care package, darling. Grab it and let's start rigging it up. Are we infiltrating the ship or demolishing it? Both. It's full of evidence. Master Zilla is deeply allergic to evidence. Uh, I don't see any demons dusting for fingerprints. Orders are orders, Mr. Wang. Fair enough. Well, let's hold off blowing anything up until we get that sword. Ah, there's the brilliant tactical thinking you're known for. I knew it would come out eventually. If I off. So if you watch these two. They freeze and then they disappear, which is totally normal for game, for games to do that. But uh, you know, it's kind of in the player's view. But you know, it's a minor thing. But whatever. All right. So now we gotta deal with mother demons. These green annoying things, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I guess the pistol has the positive to where, I mean, you don't have to, like, spend all your ammo just to try and hit something. Kind of like with the SMG, but... I don't know, I just can't think of that many positives for the pistol. Because I know it's a starting weapon, but... I mean, I guess it's one of the more precise ones, so... Get that precision. But even still, like, the crossbow is precise, but it does way more damage. I don't know. Alright. Go through here. There's a uh... hold on. Wait. Um Yeah, I have to do it this way. I gotta jump up here. Nope. And then press the jump button apparently. Have to jump up here and then Nope, okay. We have to press the jump button. <sighs> to go here, and then we have to press the jump button and then jump to here. There we go. Get our little statue. <sighs> Alright, we should maybe have enough money for the... Uh, the firebomb upgrade, but... I don't really know if I want it. I don't really know if I really want it. I don't know if I really want it. I just don't know when I'll use it, really. Because I have a shotgun. It kind of does the same thing. But I guess... Uh, the firebomb covers more of a larger area. I mean, I'll show it off, but... I mean, I probably won't use it that much. Let's see. Do I have any money... I'll get that, and then I also didn't show off the demon heads. I also don't find that much of a use in the demon heads. It's just the aiming is kind of weird. Um, Drain Soul is like, like I said, you die and then you have a chance to kill someone to get resurrected. These two are just like, have to deal with the demon souls that appear. This, you're resistant to fire, which is what makes firebomb useful for close quarter stuff. 
or just you know the flamethrower in general so you don't light yourself on fire rage is when your health drops below 30 percent you do more damage um, so it's kind of like a risk reward thing this helps you find demon hearts more this helps you find money more this has a 5% chance to do double damage with every weapon. Um, it's like every time, I guess every time you hit someone, there's like a 5% chance it'll be double damage or something. Um, these you find, you have a chance of finding more ammo. Actually, I'm curious. So does, does that mean with every single bullet you hit, there's a 5% chance it does double damage? Because that might actually be interesting. Might be something to look into, maybe? I don't know. Uh, this, you just get more stamina. This helps you recover stamina faster. This increases your sprint speed. Um, this, you do damage, more damage to small demons. Like, the little demons and this helps you do damage to greater demons which um, you know are the big guys this allows you to use demon heads um, I think that's it oh yeah these do I don't think I've explained these these let you do more damage with cheese strikes this makes you heal every time you use a cheese strike and you know what these do um, so let's see here. No, but I still don't have enough money. I don't know if I explained these, but this one obviously pushes them forward. This protects you from damage. This makes you heal. And then this, you... It, like, goes into a straight line. And anyone caught in that line, like, um... It lifts them up in the air and stuns them. So, there's your quick explanation of what the skills do, I guess. Not that you needed to know, but if you're wondering what the skills do, there you go. Because you think about it, I'm wondering, because the SMG has 80 bullets. And I don't know how to do math, but I'm just thinking about like, there's a 5% chance for... So is there a 5% chance for every single one of those 80 bullets to potentially be a critical hit? I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's worth investing though, because a 5% chance is kind of low. And I don't really know what double damage really looks like. I imagine with like a cheese strike, it's pretty powerful, but I guess for like a regular bullet, it might not do that much. We're just below the top deck. The ship is in lockdown, but we're hacking into a control room. Wang, are you in? I can't tell. <laughs> Funny. How do I get to you? You can't reach us from where you are. Unless it's kind of like where there's a 5% chance it's a critical hit and it goes on for like a few seconds before it reverts back. Uh, I don't know what else game did that, but I don't know. I just don't. Maybe, to be fair, I don't pay attention to that kind of thing, but I haven't really seen it difference with or without it. Ow. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I just don't find too much of a use for it, but hey, I mean, it's not like you're making a bad decision if you get it, because, I mean, it is, like, double the damage, so it could provide a bit of use. Um, did I do this wrong? No. Okay. I always forget that I have to, like, go...
past the gap and then jump over the gap. It's just, I don't know. So I find it interesting that like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. Like I said, maybe it's kind of like protection where just because I didn't use it, I didn't think it was useful, but so I guess that's just me being a bit unfair, but Like, for example, I don't really, I don't really think it's much of a use to, like, invest in the luck skills. Maybe for the demon hearts, because they're pretty useful, but, like, for finding more ammo, it's, like, I don't know, I don't really have trouble with ammo. I don't really think I had trouble with ammo in heroic mode, either. It's just kind of, like... I don't know. I can see how like finding more... I don't know what the other one was. Just finding more demon hearts, ammo, and then... I might have to check. Hold on. I want to check real quick. Finding more ammo, demon hearts, and... Demon hearts, ammo, and money. So, yeah, I guess the money could be useful because you can obviously buy upgrades of it, but because you don't get money from killing demons, at least I don't think so. So, I mean, you do get a lot of money with the secrets, but you know, you can't... You can't really say that your players are gonna, like, find every secret ever, every time they play the game, so... I can't go up the stairs, there we go. So I guess luck may have its use, but really the only use I see is upgrading the demon hearts. Chance for finding demon hearts. Because demon hearts are pretty useful. Um, so yeah, demon heads are powerful, but like I just don't... I don't know. Their aiming is weird, like... I don't know. Maybe I'll get the skill point just to show them off. You get the demon hearts from... War warlords that have died. So I won't be able to show it off until I fight a warlord. Ow. It's not going so good. Come on. Can't do it. There we go. Oh, can you not? Nope, oh, gotta go. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Hello. I have to sneeze. Oh no. Here we go. <coughs> oh man. No, oh, I hope that wasn't too loud. Hope I didn't sneeze all over the microphone.
the other skill that I'm kind of mixed about is Wing of Crane. Zilla has the last piece. And this is good news. We know where it is. That's something. We also know it's being guarded by one of the most dangerous people in the world. You really know how to bomb out a party, don't you? But, um... Uh, the other skill that I'm kind of mixed about is the Wing of Crane. Because it's like a... It's a sword skill, and basically what you do is you like... You swipe your sword like that, and it hits people. But not only that, it seems like a beam of energy that hits people from afar. And it's like, well, I don't know. It's just, I don't find it that useful. But maybe, maybe again, just because I didn't use it, I don't find it useful. So, I don't know. I don't even know if I have enough karma to show up, show off those skills, but I will just have to see. Oh boy, more demons, and we got warpers. Great. All right, let's take care of them. Got that. That. I can't. I can't. I'm being pushed. Yeah, okay, crossbow. And headshots are. I missed, of course. Sometimes that feels random. Sometimes they'll get up soon. Sometimes they'll get up late. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking that's the case. Also, there is a bug where sometimes you'll shockwave an enemy and they'll just stay down permanently. Like they won't be able to get up. Like you'll shockwave them and they just like won't get back up and uh yeah so you have to kind of like look at the battlefield and see who's still alive and then take care of them all right so grab that and then we will head on out here to fight more demons I guess do I have the money do I I do but I also want this hmm choices I'll just buy that I mean because I'm not too far off from the upgrade can you guys just not no wonder these enemies are called trolls they're just so annoying to deal with there, take that. All right. Okay, let's go.
mean, I guess the pistol is kind of useful against the mother demons. Alright. Let's get some money. Let's do all that stuff. And then we can kill these guys. I wish that I had the rocket launcher, because this would make things a little bit easier. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll wait after this battle to check. I was going to see if I have enough karma to get the thing. Still don't have a karma point. I was just gonna get the demon head. Show you how that works. <coughs> Alright, so... I think we get the rocket launcher next level, actually. Excuse me, boxes. I shall spare you. Dude, I... Alright. If you're gonna be annoying, I... You know? Okay. I forget where the secret is, actually. Uh... Where is it? I thought there was another here. I guess I was wrong. No, I thought there was. Is there an effect there? Looks like when I walk in here it gets darker and it gets lighter. Weird. Alright. Let's move along. I thought from behind there there would be a thing. Apparently I don't know the secrets in this game. Hey guys, stop. Do not. Alright, cool. That's why I love the shotgun blast. I mean... I guess that's why the code upgrades is because the upgrades are more useful than the base weapons. I mean, that's probably why they're called upgrades. I will say that the firebomb is also useful against shaman because, uh, like, the second their little skeleton phase starts, you can just, like, fire right in there. It seems to do... So you can fire right in there and just, like, instantly end the phase. And it seems to do pretty good damage to the shaman. Goodness, there's so many people. Just to stop. So many demons, Just so many take a chill pill real quick. This 
So I was wondering if it's possible to beat this game with only using the sword. Because the sword is quite powerful. And, um... In case you need to hit someone from afar, you can use... Uh... The shurikens. Even though they're extremely weak, but... You can use them. Like this. go. I mean, they're definitely not strong, but... Was that you? I thought something just, like, launched at me from all the way over there. Never mind. But, uh, I mean, it just happened. Alright. So I was wondering if it would be possible, but I don't know. Alright. Sorry about that. I had to go use the restroom, as I'm sure you all want to hear. Actually, I'm recording this in the bathroom. I'm just kidding. Imagine recording a PC game in the bathroom. Just like, well, I ate a large meal, might as well just bring my whole PC in here. Get comfortable. I don't know. I don't know why I just thought of that, but hey, whatever. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the uh, shurikens. Um, I don't know if it would be possible, but I think it would be, because you have the shurikens, which do little damage, but they still do damage. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it would take, take some patience, because, like I said, they do very little damage. This is where the secret is. Not this cutscene, but after. it's time to blow shit up. Wank, wait! What do you think you're doing? I'm going after Zilla. To seem a bit too loyal for my taste. Put that detonator down. Sorry, you know me. Effective, but unpredictable. Ship's going down, even though it's on land. And that should be the end of the level. This door is closed. Do not open it. I'm gonna open it. I opened it. Well, I'm illegal now. But yeah, it's just like... Had a pretty large meal of burritos, so might as well just move your entire PC into the bathroom, get comfortable, record a few videos, you know. I don't, I don't know how you would edit out all the, you know, quote unquote background noise. 
Maybe you could like build a microphone for it, I don't know. Also, also bathrooms like they just have like the worst sounding area. Not that I talk a lot in the bathroom, but if I like, accidentally watch a video that's on speaker, it's like for some reason it sounds much louder than in other rooms, and I guess that's because bathrooms are in or a smaller space? I don't know. Yeah, we should be getting close to the end of the level. Like I said, this is probably one of the longer levels of the game. I've been doing this level for like an hour. Well, actually, that's not true, because I just completed the chapter. Anyway... My commentary is bad. It's just bad. Die, demon. Die. Okay. There we go. Their long trial and error. Any bright ideas on getting off this ship now that you made it go boom? Let's just focus on getting that sword, alright? Good idea! We should stick to the lack of plan. Working so far. <clears throat> Sorry if I dash a lot. It's just like a fast way of moving. I don't know if it's faster than sprinting, but it seems like it. Because sprinting, you have to. It consumes stamina more quickly, I think. I don't know. Maybe I just like dashing, right? Is there anything wrong with that? I don't think so. Uh, do I have enough money now? No. Yes, no, no. I do have a crystal. I can just use that on shockwave. There we go. Now shockwave is fully upgraded. I don't know if I should explain each what these individual things do. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm a nerd. This just increases their stun time to 5 seconds. This increases the range of the shockwave to 6 meters. This makes them calm. So like when enemies rage, you notice how some of the demons may like change colors or something. That's them and rage, which I guess just makes them do more damage. So that... Uh, actually no, that's not that. That's that. This just makes them less likely to attack. This removes their rage. Uh, this, you protect 40% of damage in front of you. This, you can block all types of damage. This, you can block damage from all directions. This, you have a 20% chance of knocking down enemies while they melee attack. Uh, melee attack you, I think. And then this blocks 50% of damage. Healing, uh, you can heal that. You can get more health. You can get even more health, I think. And um, that you won't... Your thing won't be interrupted when you get hit. And that decreases the amount of time it takes to heal. This, uh, I explain this? No. This brings enemies up into the air. Uh, this, uh, doing this again doesn't, when you get this, like if you use the flux and then you 
do it again, it usually cancels the last one. So the monsters break free, but this, um, this like quote unquote fixes that. It just prevents that from happening. This is increased to six seconds, the stun time. This affects raged enemies. This uh, increases the range to 30 meters. There, I've explained all of that with little to no purpose other than, I don't know. But, um... I don't know if I'm going to explain all the weapon upgrades too, and I guess I will. Ah, uh, fine, because I'm a big nerd, I'm going to do it. Alright, this does 20% more damage. That's when you get the first Nurpsura Kage, whatever, however it's pronounced. This is the firebomb thing I talk about. This increases the fuel storage by 30%. This has a 25% more chance to cause panic and also increases damage. This is that thing that I called, that I talked about, where it just fires all the barrels at once. This adds two more barrels. This makes you load two shells at one time. This, you can press right mouse button to fire up to three sticky grenades and press left mouse button to detonate them. This is the high strain system, which I've been using for a while. You hold that, charge it up, and release it, and it's super powerful. This is just an extended magazine, 25% more bolts. This, you can have two uh, things. This gives you 25% more damage. This increases accuracy. This makes it so you can rapid fire while holding right mouse button. This increases the rate of fire. And then this increases the accuracy. Good, good. Okay, let's finish up this level. This video has been going on for long enough. If I can just kill these two guys. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Gotta check all my weapons, make sure they're loaded up. And I gotta heal, of course, and I gotta go get this. I don't even know what it was. It's just ammo for the flamethrower. Which I didn't grab because I'm full. Alright. Alright, let's finish this up so I can get out of the bathroom. And having my... Oh, this is the level where you unlock. I had a suspicion, but... I guess I thought it was next level. But for that, th let me just tell you that like I've been in this bathroom, my PC has been next to me the whole time. It's oh, you know, sitting on a porcelain thing is not exactly comfortable. But yeah, this is the level where we get the rocket launcher. Hail to the king, baby. Now the rocket launcher is interesting because it has a few interesting upgrades. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read them off. The first one is that it has laser guidance where you hold right mouse button and you can guide the missiles. This you hold the fire button and it like builds up all three missiles or two depending on how much you want to fire. And you can release it into like you know one big explosion and then this uh, increases the explosion radius to 30 percent so it's pretty powerful but it's also pretty slow um, and like i said with the flamethrower you can buy fire resistance so you don't have a chance of burning yourself well there's no skill like that for the, f the rocket launcher so you do have a chance of blowing yourself up so that's just something you'll be 
cautious about. You don't want to accidentally blow yourself up. I don't know if this is a bug, but I've had this happen to me a few times where I'll go into rage or I'll go into soul drain or whatever the skill is called where you go down and you have to kill someone to get revived and I'll shoot a missile to kill someone and then when I get up I'll shoot another missile but I didn't press the fire button and I don't know if it's because like I just maybe I pressed the button so many times it registers it as another fire button I don't know I'm rambling I apologize but there we go. We should be almost done with this level. It's a lot longer than I remember. I had a feeling we unlocked the rocket launch at this level, but I just wasn't too sure because I thought it was the previous level. But we're on a different boat. I am rambling a lot. Um, hello. Alright. You not? Alright, we're getting closer and closer to it. I hope this episode isn't too long. I'm trying to make these episodes like at least like at least an hour. I think it's been like an hour twenty minutes or something. Whoops. There's a wreck down there. That's what the Manticore lifted from the bottom of the sea. So I'll have a life. Not as much as any. No trans dimensional invasion or anything. Just demons just die on their own. But yeah, I didn't mean to, like, go on and on about the whole rocket launcher thing. Just Sometimes I can get a little talkative about games, especially glitches or how they're made and stuff like that. Man, this video's been going on for a while. Okay, don't worry, we're almost done. We just have to grab the Whisperer and then do like one more big fight and then we're good to go. All right, let's go. Cause I'm also worried about file sizes. I mean, I don't exactly have like 80 terabytes of space or whatever. What's down here exactly? Pool of blood. Nice. Alright, so now we opened up this door, I think. Yes? No. No, we opened up this. So now we gotta go through this big fight and then we can get the whisper. I got my order of events wrong. Um, yeah, we'll do that just so I can just show it off. And then that will be that. So now, we get introduced to the Berserker. These guys, to do the maximum amount of damage, you have to shoot them in the back. Which only becomes possible after they run into an object like that. You can also like trip them up. Let's see if I can do it. See, so you can also like trip them up like that, and then they'll leave their backs exposed. You basically just want to shoot them in the back, and you'll be good to go. Uh, you know, there's like a few other things about them, like if you stay a bit of distance away, you can probably like force a charge. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to get like too informative or 
nerdy or whatever, I don't know. I don't want to, like, talk anyone's ear off. See, another thing about the rocket launcher is that you have all these demons who come after you. And, like, sometimes they'll run in front of your rocket and then, you know, obviously that's... Doesn't spell good. Doesn't spell the word good, it spells the word death. Alright, I had to get out of there. Getting a little too chaotic. Hopefully I'm not talking anyone's ear off, because I know I can ramble a little bit, but... Let's just take care of these demons, and then we can grab the Whisper and call it an episode. I'll just use this, whatever, I thought I'd selected the rocket launcher. Never mind, it's not doing anything. Um, okay, we just just a few more. We can do this. Rocket launcher is also good if you get annoyed by groups of enemies and you just want to kill them. I mean, I guess that's kind of what a rocket launcher is for. Just murdering groups of enemies. Alright, trying to find the best weapon to do this quickly. I'll just chop through them. Seems to work pretty good. Alright, so after all of that is done and said, here's the demon head. It uh looks like that. And basically it just like shoots out a beam, but I don't know. I just find it a bit hard to control, and I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of weirdish. Wang, that'll suck us back to the shadow realm, straight to the Whisperer's own, and we'll drain the chi, just like ghosts. What if it's Enra? Enra wouldn't sacrifice his men. No, it's one of his puppets. He has no other way. Not if you want to get to Zilla. Let's do this. God damn. That is the sexiest. Holy shit. says one of us must be destroyed that you may awake 
Even the darkest of rituals requires the ultimate weapon. Who will carry the novel soul of Kage into this world? Shadow beings are scorched by it. But Hoji is blasphemy. A being without soul. It seems your little conjurer found his purpose after all. And the price I must pay to forget you forever? It is no price at all. So sleep well, sister, and save your precious tears. Heaven knows you'll need them soon. And there you have it. Now we have another piece. I missed one secret. Now we have the other piece of the Nar Nabitsura Kage. I still can't pronounce it. Um, I'll let this dialogue play through. I think we have like eight more chapters. Or seven. Hoji, you're one of the ancients? Why didn't you tell me? You created the Whisperers. Hold on there now. No need to be an accusatory Adam. I invented those things, but as far as I know, I only made one. Enro made his own later. I'm not responsible for my brother's action. Your brother? They're, um, all, all these ancients. They're, they're all my brothers. There wasn't a good time to bring it up. Why did you create these Whisper things? That's the brilliant trick I played on myself. The memory of why I did it is locked inside the whisper I made. It's really quite clever. Sure. Genius. Hey, we all make mistakes, okay? I crippled my memories. You worked for a sociopath megalomaniac who sold the human race up the river. Can we call it even? I need to get to Zilla. I don't think I can do it without you. But you try anything, and I will stab this goddamn sword through your heart. I appreciate you being direct. Take a freaking lesson. Being direct makes me gas. Just... Just shut up for a minute, okay? Emma needs the Nobut Surakage to sacrifice one of his own. He's trying to awaken the girl. I could give a shit what he wants. You fuck with my realm, you fuck with me. Alright, so now we have another piece of the Nobut Surakage. And now we have a 5% chance to drain health from enemy from enemies upon hit. So that's pretty cool. And so, I was gonna do this level because it's just a boss battle, but this video has gone on long enough, so uh, next time we'll do the boss battle with Mezu, and yeah, see you guys later. Take care.